Hi everybody and welcome to this. <laughs> this is a 2001 Hummer H1 original army car, military car. So as you can see it, it as it is here right now, it's original with every single part. So where do we start? <laughs> First of all, look at it. It's amazing to see such a car because in these times now, this one is very, very rare and I'm really happy we have this car. <laughs> no, very good. From the front, that's the best view. This is, I can't even explain. This is so wide. It's more than 2.15 meters. I think it's 220. So it's very, very wide, but brutal look. Of course, it's a military car, so they use it in the, in the army or they use it everywhere in the world. If there's war or uh, hard terrain, you use a Hummer, of course. And this H1 is especially designed for those um, uses. Now, where do we start? We have, of course, the army paint, the mud green NATO paint, you can say like this. Um, you have a big front bull bar here in black and it's steel. Really it is steel. You can also retract it uh, kind of um, when you need to go to the engine, pull off the bolts and then you can lay it down. Practical function. So, um, the front grille is characteristic for the Hummer. Even the H2 and the H3 later, they had the same design with a kind of grille here in the front. With the H2, it was also spelled Hummer, I think. Uh, here, of course, it's the ancestor. It didn't have it. So, let's take a look on the side. You can see where it was actually used on. This car was never in war or anything like that. It was used by the paramedics, so this is why it is in good condition uh, and original condition again. You can see over here, <laughs> because the different types have different names of the army with the CBs. That's where it was and worked. You can see it's a little bit thicker from the outside at the doors and everything, so it's not like um, Normal version for the street, this is a military version, so it's all armored. You can start over here, you see the armoring. It's Kevlar plates here, steel. Doors also, everything is armored. You have a small window, even the windows are thicker than normal, but it's not like a high bulletproof glass, that's not, no. You have four doors, four people fit inside. I'm gonna show you the inside later. You get the tank where you refuel and you have the big, big Goodyear Wrangler tires. Perfect tires, to be honest. I drove this car um, today and it drives really good, actually better than you would imagine. And also thanks to the tires, because this is an all-terrain tire, um, of course, more for the sand and mud, but it drives really good on the road, not too noisy. On the roof, you can see the antenna. So it's now hold it down, you can flip it up it's for um, communication uh, during the different um, zones when you're driving and with the other vehicles or with the, um, how can I say, the head of the army. It was a little bit wrong spelled, but you know what I mean. So the rear, you got mud flaps and these are real mud flaps because <laughs> I mean, look at them, the size. I just compared it to a G-Class and the G-Class is like, I don't know, half of it. <laughs> so this is a real mud flap and it's, ooh, it's really hard. Um, so this keeps stones and mud on the ground and not going up like this. Then you have a full size spare wheel. Of course, you need it for such a car. Full size spare wheel here. And you can also remove the spare wheel and open the so-called trunk. You can open it actually from both sides. So over here, like this, or you can open it like this. It's also armored. This is hard steel. So if somebody's sitting inside, shooting from the inside to the outside, he's protected either on one side, depending how you're gonna open it. This is so cool. 
really. You have a hitch, by the way. Oh, here. You got a hitch? If you have to trail something, here's the hitch. Yeah. Let's take a close look uh, in the inside. First one is quick. Second one, I'm going to explain a couple of stuff. Let me show you the, uh, at the rear seats. <laughs> Welcome to the, I would say 90s, but it's 2001, but yeah, same. That's how comfortable it's going to be. Four seats, a big center console because of the transmission and everything which is going in the middle. So not a lot of space, even if the car looks spacious from the outside, but this is like minimalistic. Well, of course, think about it. The use of the car is so much different than we use cars for normal street driving, of course. So let me introduce you to the interior with a closer look. Welcome to the luxury interior of the Hummer H1. Now, <laughs> this is as luxurious as it's going to get. You have four seats, you have a steering wheel. I don't know if it's leather. <laughs> I don't think so. Small steering wheel. And this is, uh, yeah, I'm sitting now way back and I'm small, but that's the maximum. So what do you have? You have a steering wheel. You have an indicator. The car is actually uh, started by switch. The light controls, you have to push two buttons. Uh, well, one you have to keep up and the other one you have to adjust the light switch. It has a light, of course. Uh, you got some systems for the brake. You got the fuel gauge and you got the speedometer, um, temperature of the coolant, oil, etc. Everything is set here. Air, <laughs> not air conditioned, but you have an air fan. Um, that's it so far. Uh, I mean, really, you got the handbrake over here. I don't know, yeah, this is the handbrake. And here you got the automatic transmission, the right one. The left one is for um, driving in desert or sand, rocks, whatever. You got your low, high, and high, low, and low. So this is for crawling. If you go through rocks, trees, sand, mud, whatever you like, everything is possible. And what comes to my mind is, I don't know if you can see it. Can you look over here? Just try to do it, cameraman. It's a military car, so it's not a full closed car. Of course, I can see through, you know, <laughs> here. <laughs> but this is an army version again, so maybe you can see it over here. So it's the same. Guess so. Can you look through? Yeah, it's, it's, it's normal. And it's a lot of space here inside. You can make a party. Um, Everything else is normal, but look at the rear. I mean, <laughs> it's a lot of space. So four people can sit. As I told you, the rear hatch you can open to both sides. So people can sit, stay or sit there, shoot outside. That was the purpose the car was built for. Now you can put a lot of luggage there. Uh, also here, you, got, you can remove it. Somebody can stand up with a gun outside like shooting from the roof that was the purpose of it and uh, now you can remove it and you have a nice round sunroof <laughs> yeah the, the windows by the way um i'm gonna show you when we are outside i think um, because it's better to see so this is 2001 i mean it looks a little, little bit older but still it is 2001 and um yeah I think it's really, really cool. I don't know all of the stuff here inside. I try to explain to you as best as I can always, um, but it's also overwhelming. It's very interesting to see everything. Oh, maximum vehicle operation speeds. Ah, oh, interesting. Yeah, how much can it drive? 55 miles an hour. Well, what is that kind of 80? Was it 80 kilometers an hour? Yeah, 88 kilometers an hour. So, but this car goes 132, like, as the papers say, KPH, but I don't think it's going to do it. So let me show you the windows, the engine, and hear it. So as I told you, the windows are mechanic. So you lift this one here, and you can have to hold it. You can adjust it also on the way down or not. That's it. Do like this. <laughs> and if you want to lift it up, and here you can see you get some adjustments here and also here where you adjust this one. That's the windows. So let me show you the engine, but therefore we need to prepare first.
Then on both sides you have those. I already lose it and open. So welcome to 6.5 liter V8 turbo diesel. Actually the horsepower is set in the papers with like 190 horsepower. Well, I don't know if it has it, but let's say 150 at least. And it's a very nice sound the engine produces and the engine is strong. Really, really strong. Very, very nice engine. Long living engine and uh, yeah, I'm gonna give you a little to try, or not try, I'm gonna give you a little noise of the engine because I'm gonna fire it up right now and start it so you can listen to it. So, this is how you turn it on. Brake into run. Wait, because it's a diesel. You have to wait until it's warm. We had it running before, but I want to show you the sound again. So it's warming up, now I'm gonna start it. Thank you. 